Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky Mark. Can you believe it? The sun is shining in the UK. So it's time to test out some solar panels that I got from Jackery recently. You may have seen my earlier review of the Jackery 2000 Pro power pack. Uh, it's a great pack. I really enjoyed reviewing it and it can give up to 2.2 kilowatts of power and it can take in from solar power up to 1.2 kilowatts. So that means you can charge really fast if you've got enough sunshine pumping into the Jackery. Total storage around 2.1 kilowatt hours. And it's a, it's a nice pack. It uses lithium NMC batteries. Some people don't like those. For camping use, I think they're all right because it means you get a nice small power pack, lightweight, only 19.5 kilograms. But what's it like to charge? Well, I got these solar panels when I first received the Jackery power pack, but I haven't had chance to use them. The sun hasn't been shining in the UK, and that's a real downside of the UK weather. But today, I think we've got a good chance of getting it charged up. So this has been charged down to about 1%, 2%. So there's nothing in it at all. That's pretty why it's so light. <laughs> and I'm gonna talk you through the Solar Saga 200 panels that we've got from Jackery. And then we're gonna hook them all up, three in series, and then another three in series, put them in parallel together, the two sets of three. So we'll have six solar panels, 200 watts each, 1.2 kilowatts going into that power pack. Let's dig into this. So this is the Solar Saga 200 foldable solar panel from Jackery. They're not cheap. You know, they're around six to 700 pounds each in the UK. So if you want six of them, you're gonna be paying over 4,000 pounds at current time of uh, recording. But what do they enable you to do? Well, essentially, this is what you get in the bag. You get a lovely carry case with each one, which opens up. And unlike some solar panels, the case is not required to stand these panels up. They have their own legs with sort of expandable elastic in them. They're not lightweight. This is about eight kilograms, um, which is 17 and a half pounds. And they are, but they're extremely good quality. They come in four parts, sort of elongated and folded. One, two, three, four. And then the legs at the back enable you to stand them up. As so. Now, it's gonna take a bit of practice. I've not done this before. As I said, it was been quite a dark winter in the UK. But yeah, you can expand them out and angle them down as far as you want and get them pointing towards the sun, which is up there at the moment. In terms of voltage, these give around 18 volts each. So obviously if you put them in series, you're gonna increase that voltage. So with two in series, it'll be 36, and in three, up to 54. Uh, around 11 amps of current under full conditions, and the open circuit voltage is around 23 volts. So how do we connect the Solar Saga 200 panel to the Jackery power pack, the 2000 Pro? Well, inside, inside the case, there's a pouch, we have an instruction booklet and we have a cable. Now, if you've only got one of these panels, the cable will, can be used to connect directly from that to the Jackery using an 8020 connector, which goes into the back of the Jackery. If you want to connect them in series, you need a little adapter which comes with the Jackery uh, power pack. So this is, this is the little series connector. So I'm going to put out all six panels now, hook them up with these connectors and plug them into the Jackery power pack. Let's do it. Just 
talk you through the setup now. We've got the six Solar Saga panels. We've got three there connected in series. Each one has a cable coming out with a bespoke connector in the top left-hand corner. And they come in, all three, into this little series connector from Jackery. That goes into one side, one connection on the 2000 Pro. And then we've got exactly the same on the other side. Three cables each. And I've arranged it now so that this, each panel is not being blocked by the panel in front. And I've got the legs on maximum extension to try and catch the sun, which is up there. Okay, just on the back of the 2000 Pro here. And uh, I've got, got one set of series connectors here, three panels in series. And then I have the other one here. So I have two connectors. Now, Jackery say you need to put them, you need to balance the loads on the back of this uh, 2000 Pro. You don't want to put one in with three panels and not on the other. So I don't really know the best way to do this, but I'm going to put both in at the same time as easy as I can. Uh, okay, here goes. Okay, we're in. Let's have a look. Whoa. 880 watts. 950 watts. 960 watts. Oh wow. That is amazing. I mean the theoretical maximum is 1.2 kilowatts, 1200. And uh, let's just get it on camera. It's so bright I can't see it, but you should be able to just see 968 watts there. And that's pure solar, it's saying charge time 2.2 hours, 4%, right. You know, it's uh, 5 p.m. on a UK May day, and the sun's bright, but you know, it could be brighter uh, at lunchtime or something. And it's saying around 2.2 hours for a full charge, 0 to 100% at this power. That is incredible, I think. So we're just going to leave it for a bit now and then monitor how fast the 2000 Pro takes to charge up. So as you can see now, the shadows are lengthening. Uh, we've been charging for about half an hour and we're up to 28% charge from about 1% in about half an hour. Uh, that's at about 950 watts. But as the sun drops in the sky, the sh shadows are getting longer. I've had to move a few of the panels around just to keep catching the light. And what happens is, as the shadows get longer, they start overlapping with the panels behind, and you've got to space them out more. So if you want to maximize your power generation, you've got to pretty much every 15 to 30 minutes rejig your panels and that can be a bit of a bind, really, you just want to leave them. But it, especially in the UK, when the sun is at different heights uh, relative to the horizon, and basically how the sun is orientated against the moon, basically how the sun is orientated against the earth and the angle, it's just a fact of life. You've got to move those panels. It'd be great if they could automatically adjust, but that might be a bit expensive. I'm just pretty overjoyed to be getting almost a kilowatt of solar power in my back garden with some portable panels and able to store it in a battery. For me, that's a big result and pretty impressive. Let's just have a look around the panels in my back garden there. So you can see how I've connected them at the back. So each panel has three legs which are extendable and you can adjust the angle of the panel fairly easily actually. So as the sun is lower, you want the panel more flat. If it's high in the sky, you want it more angled back. So these are on maximum angle back at the moment. The sun is quite high, but not as high as it could be. And we've got six of these panels. You can see the shadow thrown by each. And these three on this side are connected in series. And then the three on the other side are connected in series. And then there's two inputs on the back of the 2000 Pro. 
and so you've probably got about 50 volts on each but yeah anywhere close to a thousand watts like we're getting here is extremely impressive the sun is swinging around the sky so i need to angle the panels more towards this direction now the power is dropping let's try that Shadow is definitely getting longer now. About 800 watts. Probably get a bit more spin in this one. Up at 68% now. That's about an hour and a half. But because the sun is traveling around, we're gonna get hit by the trees soon. So it may get up to 70, 80% in three hours or so. Pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it there for today. We're up at about 70% charge on the 2000 Pro Le Jackery uh, using the six Solar Saga 200 watt panels. And look, it's it's the end of May. It's the sun's fairly low in the sky and it's moving around. And I was getting about not at its best 960 watts out of a possible 1200 from this array of panels. It's portable. You can take them with you wherever you go. So I, I do think it's really useful to have that ability to move them and keep optimizing the power. That being said, it is a bit of a hassle to use panels in the UK. For one, you don't get a lot of sun, so this is quite a rare day to get beaming sunshine like this. But if the sun is shining like this, you can easily charge up the 2000 Pro in maybe three hours. Um, I've been running for about hour and a half, two hours, and I'm up to 70%. So I have no doubt if the sun continues, I'll be up to 100% within about three hours which is incredibly good because doing it by a mains charge takes two hours. So to do it on sunshine in three is, a, is amazing. Um, and that's why it's useful to have lots of panels in the UK. When you're not guaranteed sun, when you do get sun, you want to be able to capture as much of it as possible. So that's why you need such a large surface area of panels. Um, what about the panels themselves? Well, I'm pretty impressed. Are quite easy to set out they're not too heavy about eight kilograms it's about 2.4 meters along and you know maybe about half a meter down you know it's a big surface area there's three legs on the back and they're fairly easy to angle back or angle up as you wish uh, depending on the time of year and how high the Sun is relative to the uh, wherever you're living um, what about economics I mean, that's the elephant in the room. These panels at the moment are 630 pounds each, and there's six of them. So that's at least 3,600 pounds just for the panels. And then the Solar Saga, uh, and sorry, and then the Jackery 2000 Pro is at the moment about 2,000 pounds. So you're looking at about 5,800 pounds for this whole setup. That's a hell of a lot. Now, if you think about it, this is charging up about two kilowatt hours of storage and you know you're paying about six thousand pounds for two kilowatt hours uh, so a kilowatt hour in the uk is about say 70p two kilowatt hours or one pound fifty so if you're spending six thousand pounds and each time you charge it up it's about one pound fifty that you're saving it would take you about 10 years of using this every day uh, to pay off six thousand pound purchase price so that is pretty difficult to imagine doing in the uk you don't get sun every day so would you be able to charge up every day you might be able to with six solar panels if you had these out every day and connected up your solar saga i've no doubt that most days would probably be able to generate enough power and i may do that in a future video say on a gray day see how much power I can generate 
with these six panels. I think that would be useful to do. Even if you can't pay off the cost though, I do think there's something to be said for generating your own electricity in this way. It may not be economically the best decision you've ever made, but things can change in the world. You've seen Putin invade Ukraine. Anything can happen. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm one of these preppers, but I think the idea of having the ability to generate your own electricity, whatever happens, I think is a pretty cool thing to be able to do. So I would recommend getting panels if you've got any interest in, in that side of things. Uh, for me, whether I'm gonna be using them day to day or purely as a camping thing or any, you know, any other reason, I don't know yet. It's a work in progress. All I can say is when the sun's shining, it's pretty easy with this amount of solar panels to charge up your Jackery or any other power pack and give yourself what I call free energy, but it's obviously not free when you've got to buy all this gear. Anyway, I think that was pretty interesting. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be doing more tests like this uh, with power packs, solar panels, and general camping gear. So thanks for watching anyway. I've been Marky Mark. Bye for now.